everyone. I'm Melanie Ellsworth and I live in Maine and I'm here today to introduce you to my book twins. These two books were not supposed to come out at exactly the same time, but one was a little bit late and so now they're basically twins. So first let me introduce Hip Hip Beret. This book is illustrated by the marvelous Marina Forza and I think it's very cool that we have almost the same initials. As you can see, in our dedications in the back of the book. So this book is about a beret that takes a marvelous, wonderful journey on a windy day, landing on the heads of some very unusual creatures along the way. And I'll show you a page. Here's the first creature it lands on. So the question is, Will the beret ever find its way back to Bella? You'll have to read it and find out. And if you enjoy rhyming words, you're going to have a lot of fun guessing what the next rhyme will be. I'll give you a hint. All the rhymes re rhyme with the word hooray, like beret. And now I want to introduce its book twin. This book is called Clarinet and Trumpet. And not only do these two books have almost the same birthday, but they also both have a lot of wordplay and they were both published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. This book is illustrated by John Herzog. And in this story, clarinet and trumpet are friends from the very first note, but another instrument comes between them and they divide into woodwinds like clarinet and brass like trumpet. How will these two ever come back together and find their friendship again? You'll have to read the book to find out. You might have noticed one more way that these two books are like twins. They both feature objects as main characters. In this book, it's a beret, and in this one, it's a group of instruments. And I don't know about you, but I think objects talk to us. I think they have a lot of stories to tell us. So I have a challenge for you today. Go and pick out a special object for you. Could be anything, something that's really important to you, something that's really special. And write a story from that object's point of view, or even a letter or a note, or if you want something a little shorter, how about a text you might type into a phone. I can't wait to see what you find out about your object. So I hope you have as much fun on your writing adventure as I have had on mine. Thanks for coming today. Bye-bye.